Okay, so... We made it to the safe room, which I think hopefully will get us out of this room 601 area. Don't know where we are right now. For that crazy jog. The muse was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Okay, which we knew, right? We already knew that. So we gotta go to final scene. Let's save one more time while we're closer, right? We gotta go to final scene and use, uh, what was it? Climax or whatever. It's right over here. Aha! There it is. Final scene. Climax. <clears throat> Aha! I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Whoa! What's this? So now you've seen the forest that Saga was in. See that? A crossover? Pretty neat. We're having that crossover point again. Oh, look, machinery. But where the, the drowned lady? But where the drowned lady? That's what it just said. <clears throat> the drowned lady is right. She's going to be nice and pruny in here. It's very wet. There's the music we were hearing earlier. So... We did miss an echo, apparently, in the hallway. One of the scenes had an echo. I'm not really caring as much. We were never able to go here. Like, we were never able to enter the second floor hallway. But how much do you want to bet that at some point, we would have been able to look through one of the windows into there and get a word of power? It sucks. I guess we're not going to get it. I, I really don't feel like going back now. So. Oh. <clears throat> a record? It showed a record. <clears throat> Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion. In his room, he will further. In her, she is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when it when you are gone. Okay. Whatever the hell that means. By the way, everyone's completely silent right now, so hopefully, uh... <clears throat> All those people are enjoying. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Oh, good. Somehow, it was important. We'll shoot her in the head first. Make sure she's dead. Another step. Never mind. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. Look who it is. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Think? I hope I'm still trapped. She had the clicker. She has the clicker. She had gotten it. You know about the clicker. She has the clicker. It can help us. <laughs> I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. She has it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find a return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. Story. You can do that. You can write out. Talking about her daughter. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Right. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. 
I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. Cool. So it's not him writing return, it's Mr. Scratch writing return. And her family is being affected by return because her family is being written into the story. It's not Alan Wake doing it, it's Scratch doing it. She thinks it's him doing it, and it's not. That's why she was upset. But she found the clicker, and the clicker can help them. So that's good. All right, we already heard this song before, the Looper song. All right, cool. Well, <clears throat> time for us to get out of the hotel and, uh, right? Try to get back to where we need to get. This is cool because we had seen it from her perspective already. And now we see it from his perspective and understand that neither of them are fully understanding each other. And they're getting their wires crossed and not really understanding what they're talking about. It's kind of neat, actually. <clears throat> so I wonder... Do I have an, oppor <laughs> an opportunity? <clears throat> do I have an opportunity to go back to the second floor and get the word of power before we leave? Maybe we do. Maybe I could do that quickly. This room. Okay. Okay. So let's save. All right. Got it. But it's not counting. I'm staring right at it. And they're not counting it. Well, that's fucking bullshit. Here we go. Got it. Okay, word of war. <clears throat> Increase damage all by the last bullet in the revolver. Let's do that. Okay. There you go. Done, done. Good, good. Okay, now we can leave. Because that was the only thing we didn't get, right? The only other thing was the stupid container, which probably has like a generic item. We got all the words of power in the hotel. That's cool. And we have to go through the main lobby. Maybe we could find the missing echo as well on the way out. Perhaps. Cool. <clears throat> Good, 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 good. Let's get back to the lobby. Okay, we're in the lobby. What scene do you think it is we didn't do that has an echo? Climax? Yep. The plot changed the details of the world. So how do we see this? Ha! Asking too many freaking questions. <clears throat> huh. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Oh, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word. 
our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, he was alone in a job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. The alley? <clears throat> really? Can we go find evidence in the alley? Save up and we'll see. Cool. So that's it. We now got everything in the hotel. We cleared the hotel. Except for this one stinking, you know, container item or whatever. But outside of that, we did everything. Every item obtained. So let's go. Let's go back outside and see where the plot takes us. Good. Good stuff. Out of this crazy hotel, man. Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Why is there a new save room in the middle of the road? This was not here before. Ah, so they're saying, yes, you can use the janitor's bucket to swap if you feel like it. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna keep going with Alan for today. We played five straight hours of Saga over the last two days I played this. So I think we do wanna stick with Alan for the rest of today's stream. <clears throat> Wait, we have a scene right here, look. somewhere else was I there to watch the shadows or was I a shadow too in a performance set up for someone else boy his creations are pretty smart huh <laughs> they're pretty self-aware so oh wow apparently there's a word of power if we can find it I don't know if we can find it there's other stuff we didn't find in those rooftops, which really sucks. I don't know what that is, because we did everything at Ocean View. So I have no clue what that could possibly be right there. I don't know. Besides maybe the, the one container I skipped, right? Maybe the one container. Um, I would like to get this word of power, but I don't know if the game lets me or not. I guess we could look. Uh, it says there's another echo up the street as well. <clears throat> so we look for that one. So I'll look for this and this, and then we'll go to Parliament Tower. Those are real vibes. So I'm going to go pre-order Modern Warfare 3. Hope you see you online. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to get it, but I don't know if I'm... If, what's the point of pre-ordering, I guess? Is there even a point to pre-ordering the game at all? Over here? Ha! Ah, sweet! Word of aid. <clears throat> Alright. Increase effectiveness of trauma packs up to 30%. Sounds good to me. Actually, you know what? No. Increase the flare area of effect by 13% and the duration by a whole second. Let's make the let's keep making the flare gun good now. Oh hey, that's hand flare? Never mind. Hand flare is good too. Alright, we'll do ball. <clears throat> okay, we got that. That's done. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's not a word of power, though, so I'm not too concerned. Um, We missed an echo. I don't know where that was supposed to be. But I'm not going to go back to the rooftops for that. All right, that's what I wanted to do. Well, let's go back down this way. <clears throat> yes, everyone is saying the Modern Warfare 3 campaign is terrible. I'm not playing it anyway. I'm skipping it this year. I don't really care about it. Where's this echo? Right next to me. What? 
Hä? Where the fuck could it... What? There is no echo there. At all. So maybe it's not now, or maybe it was earlier and I missed it. There is no echo in this street from any direction. <clears throat> nope. So, sounds like a bunch of baloney. It looks like a bunch of baloney to me. And then we're going to go to the Parliament Tower. Whatever. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if we can get in the front door like we did last time. Will Tom Zane call me? No. Tom Zane does not want to call me anymore. He's not interested in talking. He already partied with me. Okay. If you pre-order the game, you can play it on release day, but maybe your schedule is going to be different. Um, play, play what? The campaign? No one cares about the campaign. The multiplayer will be available on release day anyway. So. <clears throat> ah. How convenient. Thank you very much. Back to my hotel, uh... Well, back to my apartment, I should say. It is super bright now because, of course, the sun came out again. Today the sun went away, came out, went away, came out. It poured, it went away, it came out, it poured again. So let me uh, close the blinds so we can actually see for the rest of the stream. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Much better. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I can't stop burping. Oh, here we go again. <clears throat> go to hell. Remember, she's using these to try to capture pictures of Mr. Scratch. to get inside the manuscript. A computer monitor. <clears throat> Let's read an order. Two years ago. Greetings from Hollywood. Barry Wheeler! Alan Wake's agent from the first game. Hey, Alice, I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers when everything is so fucking great all the time. Whoa. Uh, even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth uh, during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for the Casey books and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tanned zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have ha hated adaptations as they didn't do justice to his vision. As he said earlier in the game in the interview with Mr. Dorr, remember? He was a master of hating things deeply. For good reasons. I mean, that's why we love them so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call to talk about casting your pal Barry. <clears throat> joined a cult! You're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I joined a cult and I love it. Joking about being in a cult, kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al uh, or the Andersons was tough sometimes. But these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof. When I tipped off about the retreat, the best decision I ever made. Talking about some guy named Chester. Alright. Checking in. One year ago. Haven't heard from you. Everything good. I've been trapped in a non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I've considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. I'll handle it six months ago. Sharks circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and a TV show and get this a fucking video game? I told them to fuck off. That'd be awful if they made an Alan Wake video game. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al, and we know about her because she went to investigate, and that was the beginning of the game. <clears throat> and four months ago, how is everything? 
Uh, good with you back home. Just checking in. Tried to call, but I can't reach you. You're probably deep in your creative process. I know how you artists can get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is to execute the executive producer is supposed to do. If you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, say the word. So all emails from Barry, who apparently is still doing fine. Covering everything Alan Wake-ish. Oh boy. Well, before we check out that, <clears throat> what are they eating? What is what is Alice eating these days? Ah, candles. She's eating candles. Yum. She melts them right there on the stove and just sucks them right up. <laughs> right off the candlesticks. <clears throat> That's amazing. Me too. The shock. The, the guilt. The fear. I can barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him. He's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. That's it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Abdullah says, how's Alan Wake 2 so far? Uh, good. I am enjoying the game. I mean, it's not perfect. But I'm really having a good time with it. It's far better than the first. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. There's Mr. Scratch right there. Look at that. She has the Mr. Look, the Mr. Scratch gallery. Look at that picture of Mr. Scratch. <clears throat> the darker, the better. Need to show the truth. On all screens. Look at that. The death scene of Alan Wake. She has a picture of Scratch's head exploded. Whoa. Fresh after being hit by a giant truck. It was a, a balloon of it was some airborne. cartoon animal. Oh, it was a balloon. Never and mind. I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. The horror of caring. <laughs> the horror of caring. Interesting. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Okay. Part two, the comeback. Weakness is clarity. <clears throat> I think part one, it said love is weakness. I didn't read it, though. Aloud. Jason's just got home. Welcome home, Jay. Hope you had a good day. We're being creeped out here by Alan Wake, too. <laughs> Clearly his purpose. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. The light went out behind her. You saw that? That light keeps flickering behind her, which I think is supposed to signify that Scratch is around. And by the way, we missed uh, the, the, the bathroom at the beginning, over here.
she tur had turned the bathroom into a dark room. I was literally about to say that. She turned it into a room to, to develop negatives. <clears throat> All photos of Scratch apparently haunting her. Look at that. So maybe what's going on is Scratch is trying to get to her, but he can't fully manifest in this world. But she's got evidence that he's coming to haunt her and try to get her, right? With this story, he's trying to make himself whole. And he's writing the story called Return to do that. He's utilizing things such as, as we saw, Saga Anderson's story. And writing her family into the story. And that's why she's entwined in this. So Saga being in this is not Alan Wake's doing. It's actually Mr. Scratch's doing. <clears throat> this fucker. Whoa. Purpose is strength. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that ocean but photography can freeze reality in a snapshot put a cage around the infinite and capture it I need to prove those faces are really there so it says connection through pain pain through love no boundaries be ruthless oh god the dark place the art of Alice Wake here we go Oh boy. <clears throat> There's Mr. Scratch. didn't write a horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place taking over bright falls i couldn't remember writing it i had not written it i would never write this i knew who had scratch a monster with my face if this story came true scratch would get out people would die destroying the manuscript it wouldn't stop it from happening i would have to fix it edit it I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. <clears throat> I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. <laughs> Where was Scratch the whole time? He's just showing up now. What was he going on a road trip? Loop again. It's the same loop song. Eventually, we're going to get a new song here, I feel, but it's all the same song for now. <clears throat> okay. <gasps> Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Okay. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Goals? Right. Okay. Gotta write again. <clears throat> we did this once before. Zane has said we worked on Return together. <clears throat> Scratch wrote Return. 
I would pay Zane another visit. Ah. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Probably we're heading into the final third of the game now, I would think. I think we just did like the middle portion of the story for both Saga and, and Alan. So this is probably heading to the end of his story. <clears throat> Jade, I'm glad to hear you met so many people at the convention. Sounds cool, man. Masks. Initiation 7. Back to the freaking talk show again, huh? This is the talk show that never ends. Let's do a save. We got about a half an hour left on stream. A little less. Let's do a hard save here. <clears throat> and let's continue a little bit more. <laughs> Whoa, you sit at the desk in the dark. <clears throat> well, we find out who Mr. Door really is. So he wants to kick your ass. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wei. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. <laughs> the masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't. I don't even think you know who's under your mask. But you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules. Endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky. You know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. And myself. Your wife. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me. Someone you pulled into this. Who, Saga? You keep opening doors. Peeking in. Reaching through to get what you want. And that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs. It was a nice distraction. <laughs> See you later, Jane. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. <clears throat> the next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. Oh, really? And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Ah. Stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Huh. So who is he really? Whatever you say. <laughs> Door, Zane. The masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. So, are we going to be able to just go out the front door like we've done previously? Do they want us to go through the side of the studio again? I'm not too sure, honestly. It says escape the studio. Oh, look. It's flooded. You're not going out the front door this time. The whole studio is flooded. They're not going to make it easy. The door was locked. 
I have read some Edgar Allan Poe. I did not read all of Stephen King's books, but I've read some. Oh, hi. He was just a fan. He wanted an autograph. Oh, well. I blasted him into oblivion. Fuck him. What'd you get? I said... No autographs, bitch. Jeez. Personal fucking space, man. Has the book changed? No, it's still exactly the same book as it was earlier. <clears throat> okay. Caller Jr. says, sequel is definitely worth the wait. Glad they actually did this and didn't forget about the series. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's 13 years. It's a pretty big gamble to make a sequel of this kind of level 13 years later, hoping people will care. But hopefully people do because, man, it's good. <clears throat> it's super good. Why is it flooded? <laughs> what is going on? <clears throat> That wasn't nice! Hurry, Tom. Here is the light at the end of the tunnel. If you cut... Uma, wow, that, that held you close, Tom. A motocorn ward set the cranny in the snow. But the panic is biggest. The help is also near. The war didn't seem happy to see me this time. Fearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. No. Say I know Films, what do you mean? What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom, the poet, my favorite. And Uerden Uer. Is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinemas? Yes. Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get to my apartment. I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, uh, Light pictures. The photos you artist wife do. Aha. Uh, they are waiting in the <clears throat> shoebox in the basement. In the basement again. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Back down to the basement. <laughs> All right. There's the shoe box. this way from earlier in the game mm -hmm. the janitor always gives you helpful tips but they don't, he doesn't directly interfere he just kind of tells you stuff to do <clears throat> here we go in the part that was a quick one oh uh, I liked quantum break I wasn't in love with it I thought it was a pretty good plot I thought the the, the, the story itself was interesting but the gunplay was kind of so repetitive it got boring halfway through Hence, the same as Alan Wake. That's, that was always seemed to be their problem with these games, is the gameplay elements weren't engaging enough. Behind the masks. Complete chapter masks. The man behind the mask. Alice Cooper. 
Well, we're back out in the city again, right? All right. So where the hell are we going now? I honestly have no idea where they want me to go. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens when we get out here to the main city. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder <clears> site. <throat> Zane would know where to find one. Look for Zane at the hotel. So we're going back to the ocean view. Ah, oh, look what's here now. And this wasn't here earlier. Now it's here. <laughs> and inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, mm. I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane. An esoteric bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is the cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? Huh. There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane. Whatever means necessary. Well, I guess that means we have another thing going on, right? Another scene. So we're going back to the hotel now. I'm sure a lot of enemies showing up. <clears throat> huh. Inside. I just want to be sure. Yeah, see, the only thing was the rooftops. There may have been one or two items, but I don't really care about that. I see some containers. Again, I don't really care about that. What I care about are, like, the, the, the words of power and stuff. And I don't see any of those. And we did get the echo. Okay, let's go back inside. I guess we're, we're returning to the hotel for a completely different plot this time. I guess. <clears throat> Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. So we're going to the elevator this time instead. Let's save up. We've got about 15 minutes left. We'll go a little bit further and see, you know, how far the game will take us. But, uh, it's certainly looking to me like, uh... <clears throat> like we are at the end of today's stream. I'll be playing this again in two days, just so everybody knows. Because tomorrow is my weekly react show. I'll be coming back to this as the major stream in two days. And, uh, can't wait, you know. Suspenseful, interesting, the plot's getting better. Uh, Sarah's asked, do you agree with the criticism of the game? The gunplay and gameplay is slightly lacking. Ah, uh, let me put it this way. It's way better than Alan Wake 1. <clears throat> is any game truly going to be perfect and not feel repetitive at some point? I don't know. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, but if we have a whole other stage now in the hotel, I'll admit, I think this will probably be too, too similar. But, I guess we'll find out. Right, the more we play. Look, we got right to it, by the way. No map. Should we go right into 665? You want to walk around quickly and see if there's anything here? I don't like there's anything. It looks like they just want you to go right into 665. In the middle of a phantom area. Alright, let's go in. Let's go to 665. In dead, thank you very much. Reopening your membership for 29 months to stop by to say hi. I'm behind on your game, so it's all good. Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. <clears throat> Carlton Jr. says it's always hard to balance having good gameplay in a horror game. If the combat's too good, it messes up the scares. Too many puzzles and adventure makes it too long winded. Off we go. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. <laughs> Why's that? Hmm. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch rope return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous that that we didn't deserve to get out. <laughs> then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. You dummy. He was magnificent. Visionary. I mean, it was art. And 
And he left you here, you stupid idiot. <clears throat> you return and left me behind. You're a stupid asshole. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. When you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is played. A cinema. We're going to a, a movie theater. Whoa. He killed Tom Zane. You not to try anything. He tried to swap. Yeah. He tried to swap roles, and he couldn't he couldn't trust him, so he killed him. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. He had to murder Tom Zane. Well, that's fucking creepy and crazy. Oh, mercy. Oh, no. Thousands have gone missing. <laughs> Beyond the labyrinth of me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I had a million questions about Zane, <laughs> but I had more pressing concerns. Okay then. So is he dead? Is he alive? Who fucking cares? I had to find the movie theater poet cinema. The next murder scene huh. was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return. To escape the dark place. Oh, wait a minute. Can I get the shotgun? You guys were saying if I went back this way, I could get the shotgun, right? You said it's at the bar over there? Because I want the shotgun. If I missed it, I really want it. There it is. I can't pick it up. You're shitting me. I don't have inventory space. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Can I drop inventory items? Inventory is not fucking full now. You're just being stupid. So I literally got the shotgun an entire chapter later in the game than you were supposed to. And that's why I've been finding those shotgun shells so often. It's because there's supposed to be ammo for this gun. I didn't have it. Well, let's, uh... Let's quick slot it. <clears throat> Well, that was good. I'm glad I went back. Very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to make use of it. It just sucks I didn't have it for that last segment. It would have made it way, way less frustrating, I feel. But, uh... Alright. Shotgun obtained. Let's get back to the city street now. Let's get back to the, the uh, elevator. <clears throat> Why 
Why am I glad I went back and did that? Okay. <laughs> Would have blown all those fuckers away in the hallways when it was all narrow. I can avoid the buckshot, right? But it is what it is. We beat the hotel already. <clears throat> all right. Back to the streets. So, should should we? The fuck. I want to save before we leave. There we go. Here we go. Back to the street, and I guess we're going to the cinema now. We're going to the the movie theater down the street. We had already passed that much earlier. And there was no way to access it then. Maybe now you can get inside, or there's another way. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we had walked by that earlier. He's claiming there's like containers everywhere, but it doesn't really mean that they're accessible to me. I'm not really too concerned about it. <coughs> so there's an enemy behind me, but I'm just running. I don't care. Still ignoring it. Still ignoring it. I'm not turning around. you can do when they do that when they're just teleporting you can't get out of the way you can't dodge they just keep hitting you and that's the only enemy that's killed me in the game have you noticed that literally the only enemy in the game that murders me is the teleporter you can't do shit they're just on you it's incredibly stupid now i'm all the fucking way fucking back here fuck 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 man this is stupid shit Fuck this nonsense. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie. I'll go the other way. The side of the I'll go this way instead. Across the other side of the street. <clears throat> Still there? The fucking guy is still here. Can I ever lose this fucking guy? Uh, the fuck? They closed off the way in front of the hotel. You can't do it anymore. Maybe you go this way. <clears throat> Cause you used to be able to walk in front of the hotel, but it's blocked now. 
So hopefully I lost the guy now. Noise, it's going crazy. I couldn't get it. I was missing something. It says police lines. That's where you're supposed to meet. What's his name? The cop. But for some reason, the door is glitched. And you can't go through it yet. Probably have to find a way to trigger it later, I bet. Okay. Nightless Night, filmed by Tom Zane. to find the back way but no it's a back alley but not a back way in from what I can see hmm. not unless there's a way to change lighting out here later right or get in maybe from the rooftop maybe you drop in oh hold on What the fuck is that noise? It's incredibly annoying, whatever the fuck it is. This way? Hit you, can't move. You always have too much of something when you don't need it, and you don't have enough when you need it. Interesting. There's a ladder up. Could that be what they were talking about? Hidden thing? Could the hidden thing be here? suitcase. Oh, a stash. A ton of items. Inventory full. Cannot hold the flashbang. <clears throat> so was that the secret? Could this be the secret? Right? I don't know. A lot going on out here. A whole new area. And of course, no save point. <clears throat>
Ah! Here you go. Echo. They say God made us in his image. <laughs> Just like us, he is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. Having made it in heaven, he doesn't want us there, dirtying up all that nice white upholstery. And he doesn't want to reach down to help us. He gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling, hurting, killing, dying, screwing it up again and again, lazily <coughs> stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. <laughs> Big Larry Gaming, thank you for a $2 tip. He says feel, his knee is feeling much better. I appreciate or, uh, I appreciate the tip. I'm happy to hear that your knee is feeling better. So, I don't know. We went over here. We followed the arrows, right? The arrow led me over here to, I guess, a stash. And I guess that's what it was supposed to be, the stash. No word of power. <clears throat> Yeah, and it actually marked the flash grenade for me, so that's good. Um, so over here there was a container that I missed. Don't ask me where the fuck it was, because I didn't see it. Right here? Ah. Okay. So I guess that's it, because we can't seem to get into this area. So this is an area where the cop will be, but we can't do it yet. It's blocked off. This is the movie theater we're supposed to go. So there's an echo here. No. I don't see it. Oh. Aha. <clears throat> Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Huh. Unlocked apparently a gate that had been locked from the other side. I wasn't even aware the gate existed. So I guess there was a way. Yeah, this was the dead end earlier. And now we opened up that dead end. The getaway club. <clears throat> Time for you to go the fuck away. That's it. And then we've uh we pretty much cleared the area. I guess now we go into the cinema. Hopefully there's a save point in there. Cause I'm done streaming, but I can't end because I can't find a save point. The theater appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. <laughs> you put a ticket and then the door will open. Please enjoy the film, sir. Of course. Cold Casey, Final Casey, the cinema lobby Hard is a Casey, to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Save room, perfect. Let's save. Nice. Here we go. Oh yeah. Did 
I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. That's what Tom Zane There's said. Too much at stake. Right? Tom Zane said you stopped writing. That's why he started writing with Scratch. Okay, so inventory's full. We gotta start storing stuff. Now I certainly, certainly could have used the extra row. <laughs> right? <clears throat> um... Let's get rid of the flare. And let's get rid of the flashbang. Why? Because I have a flare gun. And the flare gun is equally as good, right? So I'll take the healing items. I don't want that. <laughs> if you give me full healing, I'm never going to use them. All right. Let's save up, guys. That's it for today. Full three hours with Alan. It looks like we're going to be doing his next chapter called Zane's Film at the movie theater. It looks like we're going to be going through all of Alex Casey's films, right? There's more than one. It's like all the Alex Casey films. Or will we be going into Thomas Zane's films? They're saying there's different scenes here you can set up with that. So we'll probably do this entire next chapter with Alan. And then we'll probably swap back to Saga. Okay? So I certainly hope... You guys have enjoyed today's stream and the last two. That is three straight Alan Wake 2 streams that we've done in the last few days here. Um, the game is great. Still high level in my opinion. Still really enjoying it. Um, <clears throat> can't wait for more, but i got to wait a couple days because tomorrow we're doing a react show. Um, so it's good to have a little bit of a break in between, I feel. But thank you. Great audience today. Everyone who chilled, thanks. You were kind of quiet audience, but I hope that you're still enjoying the, the live viewer uh, viewership here. And uh, those watching On Demand, again, I hope that you guys are enjoying and uh, having a good time watching On Demand as well. Please remember to like the videos and leave comments and keep that engagement going for a new playthrough, all right? Thank you all, and I'll see you in a couple days for more Hard Case Casey, also known as Alan Wake 2. Peace out. See you then.